and welcome to viewer tv you're watching catching up with debbie the week has been an interesting one as there have been lots of interesting events during the week from nigeria to africa and beyond i'll keep you updated on what's happening in the world of entertainment now we begin with media personality frank edohor has stirred massive reactions on social media after he announced that he's returning for series two of who wants to be a millionaire after a four-year break Nigerians are set to enjoy the second series of the show that got people glued to their screens. Frank also expressed immense gratitude to everyone who hoped that he would return as the host for a second time. We can't wait to have this running as I would be engaged in the fun the show brings. Moving on to the movie industry, indeed Nollywood is taking a rise in the entertainment industry as it embraces new faces and movies while it continues to reach beyond the shores of Africa with art storytelling and intriguing characters that keep the viewers engaged. In light of the growth, Temi Otedola returns to the screen for her second feature since starring in Kunle Afolayo's Citation. Ace comedian Ali Baba is set to also join the cast alongside Inyedo, Uzo Arukwe, Ibrahim Suleiman, Baba Rex, amongst others. Still on the movie industry, as popular filmmaker Kunle Afolayo has confirmed his Cap Studios' first film project of the year. In a recently shared Instagram post unveiling the first look images, the filmmaker revealed that production is ongoing at Cap newly acquired film village in Oyo State. According to Afolayo, the period piece promises to leave film lovers bedazzled, especially as it will explore similar themes as HBO hit series Game of Thrones, but with a representation of the Yoruba culture. The feature film, titled Yet to be Confirmed, will see Hollywood actor Hakim K. Kazim star alongside King of Voice star Shola Shobowale, Bimbo Adimoye, Kunle Remy, Faita Balogun, amongst others. With a shift away from the movie scene to the music industry, on February 8, 2022, Nigerian star Fireboys Peru became the third Nigerian record debut on the Billboard Hot 100 in less than one year. It debuted at number 79. On January 24, 2022, the official UK chart announced that the Nigerian star Fireboy is set to top this week's official UK Top 40 with Peru Remix, his globally appealing collaboration with Grammy-winning English superstar Ed Sheeran. Still on music industry, Nigerian rapper Olamide Benga Adedeji, professionally known as Olamide on Saturday, announced his next album, Unruly, is 95% ready. Disclosing via his verified Twitter page, the Bariga-born artist revealed he was working on his album but is yet to decide on the release date for the album and is putting on finishing touches to make it the best ever. Olamide also shared a screenshot of his tweet on his Instagram story. Now within Africa, South African rapper and music producer Nastasi has once again set the bar extremely high for his fellow artists. Nasty C's Strings and Bling has become the first South African hip-hop album to surpass 20 million streams on Spotify. Netizens couldn't help but bask in pride as they took to the comment section to confirm that the Casanova rapper is indeed a goat. Now to international scene, it should come as no surprise that many members of the Kardashian family unfollowed Kanye West on Instagram and the ongoing public dispute between the rapper and Kim Kardashian. The Yeezy founder recently insulted his estranged wife's parenting style, specifically attacking Kim's decision to allow their eight-year-old daughter to use TikTok even with adult supervision. The Kardashian clan appears to be over Kanye West's unapologetic antics and public rant. A quick search on Instagram reveals that Courtney, Chloe, and Rob Kardashian, alongside other members of the family, no longer follow Kanye West. Still bothering on the issue of children making use of social media, Cardi B immediately took action when a fan pointed out Culture's Instagram was getting flooded with hateful comments. After learning that a sea of trolls were calling her little girl crowd names on social media, Cardi B quickly made her three-year-old account private on Monday. Upon seeing the screenshots of Culture's toxic comment section via Twitter, the rapper voiced her disdain for the weirdos writing these messages. As I would say, for everything that has a beginning definitely has an end. And we have come to the end of today's Wheels on Entertainment update. Thanks for watching. I'm Debbie.